This short video looks at slip road technique. It mainly focuses on the longer slip roads as you get on motorways and many of the um, dual carriageways. It's also very applicable and even more important for the shorter slip roads you find on some local dual carriageways. So first of all, we'll have a look at a short video of a vehicle approaching the motorway to join via the slip road. And then after that, we'll talk about the best technique to employ in this situation. You can see here that there's plenty of room in front of this vehicle, even though the weather conditions are not good at all. But we don't know yet what's coming up behind. And the door mirror will, at this point, only show us further down the slit road behind us. So although this looks a fairly uh, straightforward exercise, we still don't know what's behind us at the moment. And we do want to make sure we're not disrupting traffic any more than necessary. So what we need to do is we can't see at this point in the door mirrors. We need to look round the blind spot into the blind spot over our shoulder um, as early as possible. We can do this safely by making sure we've got enough space in front of us and our steering wheel is set straight and then just a very quick glance and maybe a second glance to judge speed. And then we can adjust our speed along the full length of the slip road to make sure we're either in front or maybe possibly in some circumstances slow down to let the vehicle in our blind spot through. You can see here that the only way we're going to see this lorry come along, along, which is really important information, we will need to check that blind spot. We need to turn our head, do the shoulder check. Uh, if that's difficult or we can't do that, it's possible to, uh, to lean forward, to look in the door mirror, to check that blind spot. But far better to turn the head as long as you do it safely. So here we have uh, the second vehicle down the slit road, the grey car, travelling more or less alongside another vehicle on the, um, on the main carriageway. And you may have noticed that the vehicle on the main carriageway was unable to move over to the right, um, was edging towards the centre line, obviously a little bit nervous about what was happening there. And then the grey car right at the end of the slit road decided to put the brakes on. And that's never a good idea. It's causing too much disruption to the um, to traffic on the main road, and that can be dangerous. If you do have to brake uh, towards the very end of the slip road, it means really the planning hasn't been good enough. It should, it should be very rare when this has to happen. It is a give way, so uh, if you have to brake to avoid a, a problem, um, you have to give priority to the vehicles on the main road. But by planning early, you should be able to avoid that. If you brake, you bring the speed down and it's much, much more difficult uh, to get out onto the flow and traffic again, of course. So in order to use any slit road safely, we need to maximise the time we've got to plan. And that means looking into the blind spot as soon as it's possible to see the vehicles that are you know, likely to join in front of. Then you've got time to adjust your speed. For this, you really need space in front of you. So before you enter the slip road, you can try and hold back from the vehicle in front to create that space. And then stay to the left of the slip road. Aim to come out at the very end of it because this gives all vehicles a chance to merge together safely and there's no panic reactions. Thank you for watching this short video. If you want to see more videos on various other driving issues, have a look at the website and consider becoming a member because then there uh, will be free access to videos which are not going to be freely available on, on the website.